Hello again. It's that time of the year for our Road Night Car Show. This is our 30th annual show. Uh, we want to welcome everybody down here on the 16th, that's Sunday the 16th of September. Uh, we're going to have, expecting at least 400 cars down here, hot rods, classics, antiques, you name it, it's going to be down here. Uh, we're going to be charging $5 admission for adults, $3 for seniors. Uh, under 10 is free, accompanied by an adult. Also, at this point, I'd like to say, please, no pets. These cars are too expensive for people to be walking around with dogs on chains, so please, no pets. Uh, I'm here today with my car and my fellow road knights, and we'll show you some of our vehicles. Uh, I have a 55 Oldsmobile, and Steve LeClaire here has a Pontiac GTO. Johnny Walls has a Lincoln Continental, and Chuck Park has a brand new Volkswagen that really can move. So, Okay, I'm Dave Miller, Secretary of the Road Knights, and today I have my 1955 Oldsmobile here. Uh, the car has been restored as the original. It looks like it came from the factory. Everything's been done to it. New upholstery, new paint, all the body work's been done on it. I found this car outside of uh, Liberty, New York, but it wasn't a condition you see it today. Uh, a lot of work's been put into it, and uh, in my retirement, I'm enjoying it. Hi, my name is Steve LeClaire. This is my 65 Pontiac GTO convertible. Uh, the second year for the GTO from Pontiac. And it's a V8 model, of course. And it has an automatic transmission at this time, with all their plans to change that. And uh, it's been a very enjoyable car for me to uh, attend shows like this. And uh, I hope to see more of them show up at our show this year. Uh, I got this car about four years ago. Uh, all the work had already been done on it, but uh, I've made some small changes to it over the years, and uh, I intend to make a lot more, but uh, not in the visual sense, in the uh, performance and the mechanical side of it. John Walls. Uh, right here I have a 1991 LSC Mark 7 Lincoln Continental. Uh, got this car three years ago uh, from a gentleman in Hohokus, New Jersey. It's got a 5.0 uh, 225 horsepower engine. It's the same engine that they put in the Mustang, the 5.0 Mustang. Um, it's uh, I can't say enough about it. It's It's got all the power I need and uh, it's loaded, loaded. And it's the car I always wanted when it first came out and uh, I haven't really had to do much to it I had to change the window motor in it I got it with 37,000 original miles and now I've got about 50 on it but uh, the only thing I ever had, had to replace was the uh, the motor in the, in the door but uh, other than that I love it it's a great car and uh, you know I can't like I say it's uh, I'd like to see you guys come down to the show it's gonna be a great turnout Weather permitting, I hope. <laughs> but rain or shine, we're going to be here. So thank you. My name is Chuck Park. This is my 2012 Volkswagen Golf R. Uh, this is the third generation R branded vehicle that Volkswagen has brought to the United States. 
and they only bring a few thousand in every four years. It's got 270 horsepower turbocharged four-cylinder engine, all-wheel drive, six-speed transmission, and big monster brakes on it to slow it down. It's also got a sport suspension on it. We look forward to seeing everybody down at the show this year. We've been blessed with good weather almost every year, and it's a fantastic show. It's good family entertainment. We'll have four to 500 premium show cars on the grounds, vendors with various supplies, entertainment of a couple of bands, and uh, food from the Knights of Columbus from Austin. Okay, here we are back again. Uh, you got to see all the guys' cars, and I'd just like to ask a couple of questions of the fellows here. Chuck Park, how long have you been a member of the Road Knights? Probably about six or seven years now. He's been a very active member for six, seven years, I'll tell you that. The most important thing he does is make coffee for us at the meetings. <laughs> uh, Steve, how about you? I, I know you're new, but you've been around us a long time. You do judging for us in many years ago, so. Yeah, I'm uh, less than a year as a member, but uh, I've been attending meetings for several years, and, yeah. and a lot of my friends have been road nights for a long time. Okay. Thanks, Steve. Because uh, he come, we eventually said, hey, be a member. Don't just come to meetings. Johnny, you've been there for a while. Yeah, I've been about 15 years. My uncle Bobby, he was an original Road Knight. He's a charter member of the Road Knights from 1955. And uh, he was very instrumental in, in bringing me in uh, as George Tompkins did because I grew up with George. He was the, uh, he was the former president. And uh, I'm, a pr I'm proud to be a member of th these guys. They're a charity organization, and we do a lot for a lot of causes. And uh, that's what it's all about, giving it back, you know. And... Uh, like I say, I have another car. It's a '69 Chevelle, and it's down right now. But you know, it needs a little, it needs a little work, and I, I'm going to have it back next year. But thank you. Right. Thanks for mentioning, John, the the charity work that we, the money we give out, the uh, net proceeds from this show we'll be using for our different charities, road night charities. We give to the museum, the ambulance corps, uh, the Lapola Little League, the Dare program. There's many. On a list. There's too long to enumerate all them, the ones we've given. But we've probably given over these 30 years a couple hundred thousand dollars out to these different charities. So when you come down here, that money you're spending is not going into our pockets. We're giving it out to charities. So, you know, please join us again. As I say, September 16th, it's a Sunday. The show hours are 10 to 4. At uh, the Riverfront Green. Yeah, at the Riverfront Green. And the, if you're bringing a show car down, the uh, registration opens at 8.30 to 12. And anybody after 12 will let you in, but you're not going to be judged because the judges will be out there at that point checking the cars out. We give trophies out to the top 100 cars. We also have special trophies for best engine, best upholstery, uh, best unrestored. The mayor's also going to be here. There's a mayor's choice. And there's a couple others there for best hot rod and stuff like that, which may, reminds me. If you like hot rods, this is the place to come. That whole back lane of the park is just filled with hot rods that day. So please come on down and uh, enjoy it. We have food, both breakfast and lunch. I forgot to say that. The Italian Lodge from Austin is, does all the catering for us, and uh, they put on a good spread. So come on down, enjoy it. And the kids, we have a beautiful playground right behind us here. All right. As we say, you got a beautiful playground that the city provided for us. <laughs> But uh, we have a 50-50. Uh, this year, being our 30th anniversary, all participants, all registered participants in the car show will be getting a coffee mug to celebrate our 30th anniversary. And I'd just like to say uh, thanks to Mike Miner for coming down today doing this for us to get a little promotion. We appreciate it. And please. Come on down. You'll have a great day. We have entertainment. We got a DJ. We got everything going on down here. So please, come on down. You'll enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs>